You want me to grab that seat? Just save your uh, back. Yes, I would love for you to grab this okay, seat. Okay, just I need you to step away. Okay. What we are doing today is changing the color of these seat belts. Um, please watch so we can make our three dollars. It's very important to us. First step is removing the seat, and that's accomplished by taking the seat out. If you can't get the seat out, you should just stop right here. This isn't for you. You want the good tool? Mm -hmm. Let me go get it. You just you just did it. Yeah, I just decided. Just set full send. The question was, is there a screw behind that V pillar? And the answer is no. Is that correct? That is correct. I need um, a 17 deep socket, please. You, you got it, buddy. So that's the bottom one. Where'd that come from? I literally just washed my hands before I came in here. Does that even go through there? Yeah, bro. I'll take your word for it. Oh, it sure does. Sure does. Look at that. All okay. right. With the seatbelt disconnected from the uh, bottom there, now it's time to remove the rear seats. Just remove the rear seats. I'm assuming this is one piece. Let's find out. Oh, both these panels are one piece? Yeah, so it comes from here all the way down to here. Oh, for real? Yeah. So you're not kidding about taking out the back seat? Uh oh. All right, bro. I think we should take this seat out, too. Should we just get the seats out? I think we should get the Dude, seats, seats out. we gotta wash tools. Look. What? Well, that's just water. Are you sure? Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Sure can't. Are we filming? We're Are filming. We live? We're live. Just get the shot. So you pull those up, pull these off, and then you just put them over there. And All the way up. Clear out the uh, vitamin water. Oh, thank you. Oh, what do we got here? What do we got? We found the drugs. Okay, then you want to come down into like center position so the rails aren't in the way. Tilt it back. Don't do that. What are you, what are you, what are you doing up there? And there's three, huh? Uh -huh. Oh, this guy. They take some... Some force? Something. Look at that. That's how they should be. Not like this one. I don't know what happened to this one. Mr. Dagan's inside the belly of the beast, pulling, tugging, finessing, caressing, undressing, basically. Also, fun fact. Yeah. On a Turbo S, you have a guy where there's a bolt in the center. Rear seat belts being pulled. We're gonna need a 16, not a 17. 16, getting a 16. Seat belts in the back removed. Now more tugging. Backwards and out. No screws on this, just comes out. <laughs> just comes out. Oh, you're taking those out? Yeah, we have to. I don't feel like this is worth it anymore. This got so hard. Let's leave those. Okay. We're doing all this. We should have done the rears. T40? Yeah. Okay. What is going on I back here? You. I took part of a few things while you are gone. Um, okay. I watched a video of a guy doing it on a 991. It wasn't like this. It was so easy. So we weren't going to do the rear seatbelts because we thought they'd be more work. There's no words for what I'm seeing. So uh, if you're doing this at home, stop. We have complete access to the rear seatbelts right now. Yeah, you probably should order those. Get out of here. Just order them real quick. Okay. because the... Now we pause for intermission while Cam orders seatbelts. Uh, Three weeks later. Did they take that long? Yeah. For real? Those are, yeah, they're special order from Germany. Oh, Cam, I did you dirty. It's a, Dude, big, it's a big piece. I did you so dirty on this. Like, it's <laughs> literally, like, right there. Huh. Let me just zoom in here real quick on the rear seat belts that are right there. But, well, yeah, whatever. You don't get to see this very often. That is the wiper assembly, folks, right there. That's pretty cool. Most of the viewers won't see that. Yeah. Because that is a very rare option. 
this is the reason that we're doing this. These are shark blue seatbelts, and we're gonna swap these in for the black, um, which in retrospect now just seems dumb, but that's what we do. We're just, we're all about the dumb and we're not gonna stop. There's left and rights, yeah? That one says LR, that one's blacked out and only has R. So now what's happening is Mr. Dagan is surgically attaching the new seatbelt into its location. Is this man a god? Some say he is. Most. Four plugs on the back of this, the side panel, the, okay. and then two on the airbag. All right. The rest is clips. And that's for the, for the people watching at home. If I'm analyzing Mr. Dagan's body language correctly, he's checking the direction of the wind. Installation note, yeah. you're gonna want the trim behind the rear seat belt. That is a good tip. Also, another pro tip. See that? Oh, yeah, yeah. That makes all the difference in the world. Mr. D, knocking it out of the park with the tips. If you're trying to put this panel back in at home, stop. Don't take it out and don't put it back in. Just don't. There's a lot of truth to what Mr. Cam's saying right now. I should have uh -oh. showed that there is a lot of clips. These face downwards and lining them up is impossible. Is less than amusing. So there you go. Everything's all back together. Um, so just do do it like we did it. Really easy. No no issues at all. But moment of truth. Oh yeah. Here we go. Gotta check our work. Make sure that it goes a. Uh, Flat across your chest and your lap and buckles. Very nice. Now we need to compare it to the exterior. Make sure it's a match. Oh, that is as close as we're gonna get. Beautiful. What an easy, simple, cost-effective upgrade. Super easy. So now we have blue seat belts. And up next, we're gonna swap out the dashboard for a leather one. Or not. Maybe we'll just maybe we'll just stop. Yeah. We should just stop. Passenger airbag activated. That's because I just made a Pepsi run. We are gonna buckle our Pepsi up with the blue seat belts. One thing I forgot that I think is really important is anytime you work with the airbag system, you have to leave the car off. I did not. I had my keys in my pocket and the car turned on at some point. And so when we reattached everything and turned the car on, I had an airbag light. Airbag light, not ideal. So to avoid this problem, some people unhook the battery or at the very least, you should keep your keys far, far away from your car. Now, if you did what I did and your car turned on and you have the airbag light, there are scan tools, probably not the OBD2 scanner tools, but a little more comprehensive. They can turn those airbag lights off. You can also take it to the dealer and they can turn the light off for you. If you didn't hook things back up right, that airbag light either won't turn off or it's gonna come back on. So you gotta be careful with that. If you want, you can skip the next part of the video. This is just gonna be me talking about some of the options of the car. I bought it used. There's some pros and some cons to that. I wanna go over those and just kind of do a quick car tour. So if you don't want that, skip it. You're good. Thanks so much. We'll catch you next time. For those of you, if any, staying, this is a new addition to the stockpile. This is a 2022 Carrera 4S. It's shark blue, and it's got a manual transmission. Driving the Fiat with a manual was so much fun, I wanted a Porsche with a manual transmission. I scoured the internet every morning looking for a Carrera 4S that uh, kind of did it for me with the manual transmission. They are hard to find. It took me a few months, uh, but eventually this popped up. And this, if you look around the garage, you can kind of see that this is atypical as far as the colors of cars I usually buy. So this color configuration with the red calipers and the blue body is sometimes called the Superman. And there's some people that don't like it. I actually love it. Let me show you why. I'm a big fan of uh, Optimus Prime. So to me, this is the Optimus Prime configuration. So when you buy a car used, you're kind of at the mercy of whatever the market has available. Someone else spec this car, you don't get to pick what you're getting. But this car, even though it's not the way I would have spec'd it exactly, was close enough that I uh, decided to bite. I feel like the exterior and the exterior features are really, really good. Again, this is shark blue. It's got the black wheels. You can't really see it right now because it's so dirty, but it's got the gloss black trim. Uh, it's got the PASM uh, suspension, so it's actually lowered a little bit. It's got the sport exhaust. A quick shout out to Utah for their black license plates. Love those. This car was specced with a sunroof. It even has this rear wiper. Now, I wouldn't have picked a rear wiper, but 
kind of glad it's there. It's, uh, it's cool. Uh, the car also has a front end lift, which has been really nice. There's a couple little things that I changed. I had the car PPF, full, full body PPF. The tint that came on it was great, left that. I went with uh, silver wheel caps. Oh, gross, I'm so sorry. I just have been driving this, see I got the snow tires? I've been driving this out in the snow. I also changed the hood crest from the uh, gold to this kind of muted silver. So the interior, a little more basic. So you can see here, it's got the slate gray. I really like that. The slate gray and the blue go together really well. This car does have leather seats. It's got a leather heated steering wheel. It's got the ambient light package. It's got the Bose upgraded sound. Some things that it didn't come with that I added were the aluminum pedals. I added this cup holder. It's kind of a stupid thing to add because if you have a bigger drink there, it's in the way of the shift knob. Got blue seat belts, obviously. Other than the seat and steering wheel, there's no leather in this car. If you look at the, uh, the dash, there's no leather trim. This is just the basic interior option. Same thing with the door. It's just their basic door. There's no leather. None of the pillars are done in Alcantara. I think this is totally okay. Even as basic as this is, there's nothing here that impedes the enjoyment of the car. Uh, this car is just as functional as any other car decked out in the most leather that you can get. Sometimes I look at the dashboard and I think, oh, it'd be nice to see some stitching or maybe the doors, you know, it'd be nice to have some contrast somewhere, but functionally, this is just perfect. I think for me, absolutely worth it. Let me tell you why. Here's the dealio as far as I'm concerned. So again, this is a 2022 Carrera S. I bought it with 1200 miles and I paid a little bit over MSRP for this car. Now, let me flash some numbers here on the screen. This is the base price of a 2022 Carrera 4S. And here is the base price now for a Carrera 4S. So just the increase on that base price made it more viable, more affordable to buy a slightly older model. Okay, I've got to interrupt myself here because what I'm trying to explain, I am not explaining very well. What I'm trying to say is that even though I paid over MSRP for this 2022 Carrera, if I were to go and buy the exact same Carrera now at MSRP, it would be more than I paid for this one. That doesn't even take into account the fact that you can't just go to Porsche and order this car. I went there and they told me two years. So I'm on that list. That's fine, I'll wait. But in the meantime, the only way to get something is to buy used, unless you've been on a list for a long time. To reiterate, buying used in this case actually saved me money, which I then spent on seat belts and aluminum floor pedals, so meh. So I got a storm going on. Ooh, winds are blowing. When you buy used, you're not necessarily stuck with the options. You can do what we did. You can start modifying them. You can add blue seat belts. Um, this car didn't come with the Porsche Crest in the headrest there. You could put in new seats. I think that that's a little silly. You can replace the dashboard with a leather one. That would be hard and very expensive. You can still customize the car in almost any way you want after the fact. It just gets more expensive. So that's about it for this video. Very excited to add this to the collection. Really excited to have some color in here. It's, it's pretty drab. Don't be afraid of the colors, as long as they're white, gray, or blue. Those are the only ones that are okay. So that's it. That's our seatbelt installation video. Those are my thoughts on this car. Uh, you probably saw this too. This is a Serato we just added. Um, we'll do some content with this in the, in the future. We'll answer all your questions, all your burning questions, like what is going on with that car up there? What is this Audi doing here? Does anyone drive this? Why do you have a truck? Do you use that truck? Why is this car missing a mirror? Hey, why is there an SVJ bumper up on your wall? What do you like better? Optimus Prime or Batman? Why is there still a Christmas tree up? Are you ever gonna get this out of the box and race these? What is going on here? How big are these turbos? How does the snow work? Thanks for joining us in 2024, and we'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.